here we all are inside the parking shelter. And aren't we glad that we live at Shell Point and didn't have to wait six hours in line and they have water and food for us. Exactly how long a shelter experience is going to last depends on a lot of variables. When the shelter was used during Hurricane Charlie, it all lasted about eight hours. Irma was different. The entire episode was closer to two and a half days. This meant sleeping on hurricane chairs, quite a few meals, and the inevitable visits to the porta potties. Each of these things meant a change of routine for everyone involved, and challenges did arise. Staff and residents worked together to meet needs, to help each other through, and to make it all as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. Some employees took advantage of the offer to bring their families to the shelter, so some kids got to experience the adventure along with the rest of us. It was warm in the shelter, but the fans were a big help. When problems arose, the staff did their best to take care of them. The Shell Point Food Service team did an outstanding job of keeping everyone's tummies full. Along with the expected energy bars, tuna fish, crackers, and such like easily stored items, they managed to provide loads of fresh bananas. And the call to hydrate, hydrate, rang throughout the shelter. I am giving water, ice, and all kinds of power aid. I'm just having a blast. Oh, wow. Yeah, so obviously we're figuring out a lot of this as we go because um, it's just a, a rather complicated at times. But um, uh, we're trying to get more strategy to our food delivery. Um, we're really working the room in, the, in a U, going around court by court, delivering each meal item in sequence. And we just had a big meeting with the court reps to help them control the flow of their residents up to the food area. So far, so good. We've served uh, today. We had a, a breakfast and lunch already, probably 1,500, 1,700 meals. Going into dinner now, about 5.30. We've got um, about a half an hour or so. And uh, we're going to do it all again tomorrow. So lear learning it minute by minute. The staff was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, really took care of us. They come by with water and ice packs and, and food and cold washcloths. I couldn't <laughs> believe it on the second day they had roast beef and ham <laughs> sandwiches for lunch. Yeah. Boy, that's great. I want to compliment them, especially the food. I realize you're limited to what you can provide, but that lunch on Sunday was top shelf. I couldn't believe. The cold guts, the roast beef and the ham, those were as good as you get at any deli. So my compliments on, on the deli food. It was excellent and everything else sustained us. We're still here. So uh, so can I order up a T-bone steak, a medium rare? Absolutely. Your number is 99. You'll hear it over the loudspeaker. <laughs> there was plenty to eat and drink for everyone. Nobody worked harder than our medical team, both at the arbor and in the shelter taking care of folks day and night. I've never seen such care in all my life. And in the shelter, nothing was like that shelter, the care we got over there. It was fabulous. And those nurses were up around the clock, three of them, three registered nurses. And Martin Chappelle was running around. They all had on their shorts, and it was just wonderful. And I can't say enough for the nurses and the doctors and the little Joy runs the pharmacy. She was just going like a machine all that time, wouldn't sit still, day and night, and it's just amazing. Cell phones were charged at makeshift charging stations, and we all tried to let our far-off friends and relatives know what was happening. Uh, there were power strips up and down the wall, and we were able to charge our phones in. Cell service was spotty for some of us, and eventually most were completely cut off for the worst part of the storm. Those who had radios listened for news reports. As the storm ramped up, residents lined up for a peek through the few small windows that provided some limited view of what was going on outside. We got the SBTV camera into Paul Yakovich's office, where the internet provided a view of the weather map until the eye was hitting Naples. Then it went out. It's an ominous thing to see a hurricane's eye headed right toward you and to realize that the storm was bigger than the entire state of Florida. We also got to check out the boats in the marina, which fared very well through the winds. The shade sails at the aquatic center were said to be hurricane-proof, 
Well, it turned out that they did indeed survive after quite a thrashing. Well, I was impressed at the preparation, the logistics of it all, and, and how even uh, our leaders and all were there taking care of us all night long. It just amazed me. Throughout the Irma experience, management held meetings with the court reps, who then passed the word to their neighbors about what was happening and what the plans were. Um, once we get our plan in place for evacuating our evacuation shelter, um, and so we'll do this probably again in the morning after we've done our inspection. So the highlights are great news. We're going to get 6 to 8, 6 to 10. The highlight's going to be when you see the screens going up for some fresh air. we got quiet time tonight from 10 to 5. Our crews are going out first thing at the break of dawn to do our inspections. We're going to come back with a plan and go from there in terms of getting you guys as comfortable in your homes as we can. Thank you, thank you, thank you for how helpful and cooperative you have been. Seeing the leadership with uh, our president, Martin Chappelle, and the staff working together, all the little details. I've been down here 31 years, so I've lived through hurricanes before, but this was my first at Shell Point, and they could not have done anything any better. It was amazing. Even the little bags of ice that came around, and, and Randy, our choir director, you know, moving all night long. I was just amazed at what everyone did in a difficult situation. Way above and beyond what I was expecting. Everybody at the 100% level was, was knew what they were doing and was very caring and would do anything for you. I was very impressed with the staff. Well, it wasn't the Ritz, but we were well taken care of, had everything we needed, and they did everything they could to help us. It was, it was just an amazing thing to watch, and we were all safe. I'm very grateful to all the volunteers and all the employees. It's amazing, amazing. I have been through a lot in my life, but this is, this is five star. Yes, five star. <laughs> Late Saturday night, the worst was upon us. But due to a last minute turn to the east and some shredding and disorganization of the eye just before it got to us, the winds were significantly less than anticipated. That was a great relief. With the storm heading away, most folks collapsed into sleep for at least a few hours.